Hey everybody, welcome to another SpaceNet episode. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best weaving pattern in my personal opinion. So, you'll see I've already got these two corners done. That's irrelevant. I'm gonna show you a specific pattern that you can do anywhere within a net. So, the very first thing we wanna get our, uh, we wanna get our skeleton done. And I'm just gonna explain that first, then do it, then show you how that's done. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take strides here, make some channels along this whole triangle. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make these pull really tight so that this whole net is kind of tensioned to how it's going to be, at least for the most part. And I'm also gonna be adding flow hitches to these and because we're only using paracord and it's very thin, so paracord on paracord could abrade each other. I'm gonna be making my channels double-stranded. So two tight strands of paracord, two tight strands of paracord, two tight strands of paracord, but don't even worry, uh, I'm gonna show exactly what that looks like. So let's put all of our channels in and then come back to this video. This is what I meant by when I said channels. So you'll see here I've got four, four rows here or four channels and you'll also notice they're double stranded here. So I'm gonna be doing clove hitches to this. That's why I wanted two strands for a little bit extra strength. Um, so I did four channels here and I'm gonna do a couple more on each of the other corners. And then when I've got all my channels or the whole skeleton built, I'll be ready to start weaving in the rest of the paracord. So I'm gonna finish the skeleton, then we'll move to step two of this very special pattern. Okay, so the channels are all done. You'll see everything's double stranded for the channels. Now there is one extra step you need to take before you move on to the next one. And that is to make sure they're all really tight, like, like guitar strings, like, like kind of like this one. I'll pull it, see that? But if we go to the very first one I made, which is this little guy, it's, it's not as tight anymore. Usually the first ones you put in are gonna lose their tension because this net's gonna compress in on itself. You could see the arc of this guy, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of bending. This isn't video distortion. This is actually what happens to the span sets. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning again, make them all, just give them, give them a real tight pull, make sure they're all straight because if they're not really tight, what can happen is, and you can see right here, I can pull these together. And that's not good because when I start to put paracord in between these, I want there to be a gap because that's what's gonna look really, really cool in the end. I don't want these touching, so gonna tension everything up and then gonna come back to this everything is nice and tight now you will see here guitar string guitar string guitar string everything's really tight now this is the next step for this weaving pattern so uh, the corners are a little bit ambiguous uh, I'm just gonna kind of fill these in randomly those don't really matter it's gonna bow this one back a little bit and that's where the magic starts to happen so starting here at this point i'm gonna take paracord weave to here clove hitch here pull it back come back to this one clove hitch here and then just go zigzagging back and forth till i hit this again and it's gonna make a bunch of a's and then we're gonna do that in between every channel here just make a bunch of zigzags a bunch of zigzags making sure to clove hitch at every double strand we hit and making sure that it's nice and tight uh so gonna do that for every single channel then we're gonna come back show what that looks like and then I'll show the very final step to this weaving pattern and that's really where the artistic side of it comes into play so uh, we're gonna do that then we'll get back to this all right so here's that next step so you'll see here for example with this one I started it here went here clove hitch zigzag back here clove hitch clove hitch clove hitch clove hitch clove hitch clove hitch and you'll see I use contrasting colors because it makes a really cool like zigzag with them. So uh, I'm going to do this for all three corners now. And then the next step will be to weave some paracord in through here to make these nice and tight. So almost done. Stick with me. All right. So here's how we do that process. So I'm going to do this cavity first. Just kind of show it. So we're going to start here with a clove hitch just like we always do 
on the perimeter. Kind of cinch that down. All right, and here's what I'm talking about. So this is the first triangle here. So we're gonna do an upward weave here twice. So double weave there. And then on the outside of the triangle, we're gonna move down. So you know, you'll know you know you're doing it right because it's kind of squeezing this triangle in. And if you notice here, it's gonna start to make these like octagon shapes on the other side. So again here, we're hitting another triangle. We're gonna go up twice and then down twice. So again, you notice we're starting to get some circle shapes here and we're gonna do the same thing on this opposite side. So again, up twice. Why did the camera turn black? Uh, it's, it's still gone. Oh. Down twice. Another triangle, so up twice. down twice and you're gonna do this all the way through up twice down twice and then when we hit the edge we'll just end it with another clove as we usually do and then you can start to see we're getting some circle shapes here uh, you notice we have some triangles here so we'll do it again here, and that should squeeze it all really nicely. We may have to do it one more time in the middle, but we'll get there when we get there. I'll show you what this looks like in the end. You just basically follow this pattern for every triangle you can find. And that's pretty much the whole weaving pattern. Uh, you can then go through the middle and repeat that process with different channels going in whatever direction you really want to do it. Um, but I'm just going to show you the final product. Those are, those are the basic three steps to this weaving pattern. I hope that was helpful. This is the pattern you get when you repeat that method over and over and over. You can see the triangles were here and they just get kind of staircased up and then staircased down. And it makes this really cool square and like half octagon pattern and really simple, really straightforward. You can do this through your entire net and it moves really quickly because it's a repetitive motion rather than you having to figure out where your next move is going to be. And... That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> and that wraps up this video for the greatest weaving pattern you can do. Uh, if that was helpful, do me a big favor. Hit the like and subscribe button down below. My analytics tell me that 80% of you guys are not subscribed, so just do it real quick. It's right down there. Leave down in the comments what you guys think of this method. If you guys know of any other methods, drop them down there as well. I'd love to cover as much as I can about space nets. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you all on the next one. <laughs> what is this garbage? It's art. There is no... There is no such thing as garbage in art. I'm gonna keep those sound effects in it.